What do I say to patients who tell me they're afraid to die? Number one, I never try to make it better or make them not afraid. What I've learned in hospice nursing and in ICU nursing is that death is not the worst possible thing. I think suffering is far worse. The number one question I get from people, did my loved one who died suffered? I watched my mom on hospice and she didn't eat or drink for days. She had changes in breathing. She had like a gurgling noise. I feel like she really suffered. It was so hard to watch. Now, I think it is so hard to watch. That's for sure. It's not an easy thing. You're losing your mom. The things that you saw at the end of life are very normal. It's a biological response to the body dying. And being able to explain that our bodies are built to live and they're built to die. And the less we kind of mess with that process sometimes, the better it usually goes. Seeing loved ones help their loved one during one of the most difficult times in their lives is inspiring and it feels like an honor. First one that took off was me describing what the last six months are usually like for someone on hospice. To my surprise, people were really interested. A few from there just kept taking off. The death rattle is the most normal thing and to be expected at the end of life. However, if you're not used to hearing it, it can feel like the scariest thing you've ever heard. Their jaw muscles are so relaxed. So because of this, their mouths are open. Saliva is gathering in their mouth, even just a little bit and then their mouth breathing. So the breath is going over that saliva and it's causing a gurgle noise. People think hospice is about dying. It's about living out the rest of your life. How can this group of people help you live out the rest of your life the best they can? And I think we need to start reframing how we look at death and dying because it's going to happen to all of us. It can be scary because we're human. It's going to feel scary. It's the unknown. We can have all the emotions around it. And can we prepare for it so it doesn't have to feel so scary? I really think it feels almost sacred, like a sacred moment with each other when someone's taking their last breath.